On this week's Michigan Minute, a lawsuit against Bill Schuette moves forward, Snyder's slap on the wrist for head of the state police, and some good news for students in Flint and other struggling communities. Welcome to the Michigan Minute. I'm Lonnie Scott, the Executive Director of Progress Michigan. Here's the news you need to know from last week. First, a judge at the Court of Claims ruled that Progress Michigan's lawsuit against Attorney General Bill Schuette over his use of private email accounts can move forward. Contrary to what Schuette says, we have evidence that he and his staff used private email accounts to conduct the state's business. We see this case as an effort to ensure Michiganders have a transparent and accountable government. Next up, on Thursday, Governor Snyder gave a slap on the wrist to the head of the Michigan State Police after her controversial and inaccurate comments on Facebook about NFL players taking a knee to protest racism and police brutality. Snyder announced Colonel Christy E2 would be docked five days' pay for her actions. The next day, Progress Michigan, with the help of activist group Color of Change, delivered 85,000 signatures to Snyder, calling on her to be fired. Finally, students in Flint will be getting some help going to college. Following the lead of the state Senate, the Michigan House passed a bill opening the door for Flint and other struggling communities to become a promise zone. That means that students in those areas are eligible to receive tuition-free college. While more work needs to be done to bring down the cost of higher education in Michigan, this is an important step toward helping kids achieve their educational aspirations. Snyder is expected to sign the measure this week. That's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for watching. Follow Progress Michigan on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and we'll see you next week.